Hi, this is Jesse, your host, and welcome to a new episode of Marketing Talks by OSB. Today we have Lynn Sidani with us. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Jesse. How are you? Thank I'm, you so much for inviting me. I'm good, and thanks for joining us today. Thank you. I'm so happy we're going to talk about uh, fashion and social commerce today. And uh, because you're the digital marketing manager at Lemonade Fashion, which is the first social and global commerce platform that you recently launched in Beirut, uh, we're going to more talk about fashion and social commerce today. Okay. But I would like you to just tell us a little bit at the beginning, when we say social commerce, are we talking uh, uh, buying products on social media? Yeah. yeah. So basically, it's uh, purchasing products through social content. So it's either on social media or on any other platform. Okay, great. And can you tell us a little bit from a brand's perspective? How, it, how much is this useful, uh, effective? Yeah, it's super useful because these days Gen Zs are more leaning into uh, buying products from uh, video content, basically. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. And uh, we have lots of statistics that prove this, even research that proves exactly. this. But uh, when we say effective, are we saying it's the only way the brands are, are focusing on this these days? Or maybe you tell me, no, we have this in parallel, let's say, with other advertising tools. Yeah, so basically brands now are focusing more on video content because when we are seeing on uh, these biggest uh, social platforms like Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat, they are more leaning into video-first content where users and brands are trying to include products within there when they are promoting and doing content, basically. All right, great. So, but from the creators and influencers perspective, uh, when we say creators, they don't have to be influencers, right? They could be just content yeah, creators. Exactly. Okay, 100%. so what about this perspective? Yeah, so they are really suffering when they are promoting the products and brands on uh, social media because they cannot in any way link directly the products on their uh, reel, for example. Mm. So when as a user or influencer on social, I cannot tag products within my content. I can maximum like tag uh, the brand's page like okay. I can mention the brands on uh, in my caption, ah, okay. but they cannot really tag products. So okay. what they can do is that like uh, posting a story with a link, and this link redirects only to one page. Correct. Yeah. So the basically the user uh, checks out not from Instagram or TikTok, but they are checking out from the websites of the brand. Okay, uh, but I believe, I think I have heard that they are working on those shops that are linked directly to, uh, to Instagram and TikTok. And so, also I think Zara, they already built their shop on TikTok as well. Have you heard of that? Yes, on uh, Instagram, basically uh, they removed the shop from their platform. So on the nav bar, you, can, any, you cannot anymore like uh, search for products within the, their shop because social media is not built for e-commerce. Mm. Okay, okay. So let's look at it that way. Yeah. People are browsing on social media. Brands are pushing a lot their products on social media. Content creators are posting their products on social media. While I think when we discussed this, you told me people are not there to buy. They are already 100%. there for entertainment. So exactly. how is this working for all of those three parties together? Exactly. So nowadays, there are misaligned purposes on, on social media, basically. So brands, from their perspective, they are active on social platforms because they want to buy. However, users are active because they want to, uh, to connect with other people, to check what's happening, to check and discover the latest trends. So when I, as a user, I want to buy something, I go into a, uh, an e-commerce platform, search for a product and purchase it. Yes. And from another side You as mean well, brands, they want to sell. Yeah. People they want to buy exactly on e-commerce. Yeah. Okay, so on social they want to have fun. Okay, yes, and exactly. the content creators. And the content creators, they are like uh, pushing their content to to a more engaging content to doing to do some uh, uh, trending and challenges that are being a trend as per the algorithm of social yes. in order to have a more engaging and higher reach as as well. Do can we say brands are converting that way? So. Unfortunately, brands, they really cannot know if they are really converting or not. So in order to boost their products on, uh, on social, they need to pay. Yes. To pay more yes. for a less conversion. For a less conversion? Yeah. Because with now with the limitations of iOS 15, there are a lot of limitations across platforms. Um. So 
Yeah. Okay, but once they boost, they get to, to access the insights and they can see how many links and how yeah, many... Yeah, but they cannot really know how many users converted. Ah, uh, you mean converted until the final purchase yeah, and exactly, the checkout. Yeah, exactly, because nowadays, so the awareness uh, phase is being done on social or, and the, the consideration and the conversion phases are being done on another platform, mm. so on their website, actually. Mm. So when we are, we are trying to like, check the results of a campaign and to do the analysis, we check like Google Analytics, exactly. uh, what, what the ads manager is saying, how many products uh, have been sold from this promo code from the influencer. So it's like a puzzle and we're trying to connect. find, yeah, to connect all the insights to know how much we sold from uh, every uh, platform. Platform, yeah, or unless, channel. unless they go into details and they get technical uh, from the website analytics, they can get from where this client came from. Yeah, from which but, social but when we have different data from different uh, platforms, you can really never know oh. uh, a one correct number. Ah, oh, so it's very challenging and complex. Exactly. And, and those brands posting and posting and posting, do you think it's becoming an unfair competition, especially that the whole world became a, a global vi village? 100. 100%. So basically, every brand is competing with Mother Earth on uh, on social media because I, as a brand, I'm like posting and boosting my product, and I'm competing with Mercedes, with Persil, with uh, Karen Wazen, with uh, my yes. mom's my mom's cooking. If she has a small page as well, so all industries, whether yes. they are big, small, or medium industries, they are competing with each others. Yes, yes. And let's talk a bit about monetization. If they are promoting uh, or boosting, let's say the, those brands, they are boosting on social media. So c can we say at least they are monetizing? Maybe not. You said we cannot really track the conversion, but can we maybe track at least from the promo code that the influencers are using, whether they are monetizing so, or not? Yeah. I when think it that's the tool, to, no? When it comes to monetization uh, uh, versus the influencers, Basically, influencers and creators are struggling from monetization because they are there to like uh, put more content, more engaging content that is not really relative to who they are. So uh, they post content that is more trendy and more challenge within the challenges that uh, social have, uh, and they can they they, they need to like uh, build an audience of views reach and followers in order to go to the brand and tell them, hey, I have that many a number of uh, followers and reach and views. Please, let's do a collaboration, for example, and mm. get paid for it. But influencers nowadays, they cannot really know if they are converting or not. So they, they just have the data related to the views and reach and not the conversion. Yeah. So here, the algorithm is not really helpful from the uh, creator's point of view, right? Uh, uh, creators and brands, actually, because, for example, we at Lemonade, we sometimes like post content about the team doing some trends and that content goes viral. However, when we post content about uh, a product based, a product focused video, uh, which we put a lot of effort in doing it and editing it uh, and money as well, uh, it, it doesn't go viral. So we need to pay money to pay bo and boost the, the yes. content in order to have a bit of uh, reach and views. And listen, in general, who is approaching who? The brands are approaching the influencers or the influencers usually approach the brand? Basically both. Mm. So brands are boosting for some awareness and for some views and engagement. And the only way to uh, track this conversion is uh, if they find the right audience. Correct? Yes, 100%. Okay. And, and, but I have a question here. Don't you think the brands usually, they choose the influencer uh, who has values, maybe stories, personal lives that align with the, uh, with the brand's uh, story as well? Yes, they do. But also the influencers, they have a lot of collaborations from different brands. And sometimes they are not really transparent anymore with their audience because when like uh, they are getting paid to do a content, they need to boost the product in the best way ever. And they really cannot say the, their, uh, their honest opinion about this product. So it, became like, it becomes like this influencer is boosting this brand and this brand the same way. Yeah, exactly, because they are getting and paid. In general, uh, Lebanon, is it more happening on Instagram or TikTok, those collaborations? So basically both. both. For now, yeah, it's both. both. 
Um, okay, great. Now let's jump to the exciting part, which is the Lemonade Fashion New Model, mm -hmm. uh, where you built a new app, a new platform uh, that would connect brands and creators to use this app for fashion comps, correct? Yeah, yes? mm -hmm. yeah exactly. Tell us a little bit more about Lemonade and then let's get deep into Sure. So Lemonade, it used to be a platform for independent designers. Okay. So we used to onboard designers from all around the world and do content for them on social media and do all the photo shoots for them and sell their products on our platform okay. for an extra commission on every transaction. Okay. But we saw that there is something missing and uh, there's a gap between our social content and our e-commerce. And it came when uh, we did a very big campaign with a very big influencer that has more than 10 million followers. Like we got 20,000 downloads in, 20, uh, in two days. Wow. We got like 10 million uh, reach in like less than two hours. Mm -hmm. However, when it, comes to, when it came to the conversion, we really didn't convert a lot. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, there's a gap between like, uh, linking the redirecting the users from our social platform to e-commerce to the our e-commerce website okay. so this is how you came up with the idea to create this app i mean it's a hundred percent perfect so now what we can say is like you're changing the ground of social commerce when it comes to fashion items yeah the ground also and the business model and the marketing business strategies model. as well yes. so we're creating the, as like a new marketing strategies for all of this. But I believe here we're going to, I think the interest will be for small, maybe the designers or small. No, designers. not at all. So every brand uh, will, will, will be a winner on Lemonade because on, on, on our platform, it's a win-win situation for both of us, for the brand and for, for us and for also the creator on the other side. Even if we're talking about big brands like Zara, 100%. and H&M, yeah, 100%, they will benefit yeah. from this. 100%. All right, um, uh, so what about when the, brands, when the brands turn their customers into ambassadors? You gave me a hint about this. Let's discuss more. Yeah, so I'm gonna walk you through the app, basically. Okay. And from there, yeah, we can see. Yeah, explain to us how does it work. Yeah, 100%. So Lemonade Fashion is now a video first experience. So if you, if you open the Lemonade app, You'll see yourself as if you're scrolling through TikTok content or uh, Instagram content okay. where you can directly shop from the content. So any user on the platform okay. has his own profile. So influencers, brands and users, they have their profiles where they can upload content okay. and tag products. Okay. And here, the, the, the nice thing is that they can tag as many products as they want from many brands as well. So if I'm a creator, I'm, I'm doing my makeup routine, uh, my beauty routine, okay. my beauty morning routine. I can tag as, ma as much product as I want in this content. And users can go into my content and uh, purchase all the products I'm using with uh -huh. one click, with a seamless experience without uh, leaving the app. All right. And here, so the challenge is to get as much as new uh, content creators and brands as well exactly. uh, to be on the platform. 100%, yes. But how are you going to attract people to come to the platform? Maybe at first they would think it's another social platform. 100%. How are you going to yeah. uh, so, attract them? Uh, yeah, so our, our uh, platform aligns with everyone's values because on, on our platform, people, they can uh, create content that aligns with, with their own uh, values and personalities. So while creating a content, uh, they can tag the products without saying, hey, please shop this, click here, uh, uh, use my promo code. So they are doing content that uh, they like, basically, and without even having the challenge to uh, go to the brand and tell them, hey, please, I want to do a collaboration with you. So ah, every user, so it could yeah. be it could be without even uh, you know partnering or uh, yes. signing a contract between the brand and exactly. the influencer. Exactly. And the content creators could be just the regular people like you and me. Yes. Ah, okay. So I'm wearing, let's say, a nice jacket from Zara. I take a small video wearing it or trying it. I post it. So if people like it, they directly click on it. Yeah. If they we have Zara on the platform, ah, people okay. can directly click on the product and purchase it. Ah, uh, okay. So the brand that sells the items should be a part should of... Ha yeah, should have a brand okay. profile on Lemonade. Ah, uh, okay, okay, so okay. It's like having a brand... Uh, it's like having a page on uh, social. They will have a page on 
uh, on Lemonade where they can directly connect their APIs to our platform and directly have their, all their stock on our platform. Ah, I wanted to ask you about this. Yeah. So it's challenging. They have yes. to connect your app to their yeah. inventory as well. Yes. Nice, nice. And uh, do you have any forecast in terms of number of users during the first year? Yeah, we have a lot of uh, big partnerships that are ha happening in December in the, MENA, in, the, in the MENA region. Basically, we have a very big partnership with MBC Group and with Beatport. So Beatport is uh, uh, the, the biggest platform for e electronic music. In the okay. world they have like 20 million active users on the platform and more than 1 million uh, djs as well so what we're doing with uh, with beatport is we'll, we're gonna live stream all of their events okay that are on happening lemonade, you mean? yeah okay so they will have their own profiles on lemonade and they will be able to live stream the events for example david getta and ims uh, ibiza for example will live stream it on the lemonade but what's unique about the live stream on the platform is that they can tag merch. So if, if they, David Guetta is playing his set, he can tag the merch, the t-shirt that is, he's wearing, and the headphones, for example, and people can purchase it directly while watching the live stream. Ah, oh, nice. And he can monetize on this. So any user, uh, it's within his benefit to have uh, uh, to, uh, to put his content on Lemonade because there are a lot of missing opportunities right now. So for example, if I'm a very big tennis player and I do sponsor, I sponsor um, uh, a, brand, a tennis brand or something, so if I'm wearing this t-shirt, I can tag it on Lemonade and whenever people purchase purchases from uh, this, uh, from my content, auto automatically I can generate uh, money as well. Ah, okay. While well, as on social, they just tag the page of the brand. 100%. Oh. And we cannot, we can never know where I can find this t-shirt or it, it will redirect to a very big website where I don't know if they ship to this country or to this country. And mm. I can never sometimes find the products as well. Mm. It's, they're getting, they're fixing it, but I think with your Lemonade app, it's going to be even it is uh, integrated. Seam seamless, seamless. So quicker, practical, enjoyable. Yes. That's yes. nice. And, and the platform is for shoppers, basically. So all users who are, who are going to uh, enter the, the Lemonade app will be interested shoppers, and they, and they have interest in, shop, in, the, in shopping uh, fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Okay, and of course we're gonna. You, you will include also shoes, maybe we already accessories. have. Yeah, yeah, we already have shoes, bags, accessories. We also like create. We are creating a lifestyle category where, where we are also including um, specialty coffee as well. So everything that is under the umbrella of uh, fashion, the big world of fashion is being also... So some uh, electronic gadgets as well, like the headphone you mentioned earlier, could yes. be part of it. Yes. That's interesting. So they have to be willing to uh, to be spending money so that they get into the app, right? Yes. Unless they're checking, oh, maybe we, you could include also what's hot, what's what's new, what's selling. We yeah, we already have Top this. Selling. We have a Discover page where it's going to be... Ah. Yeah. So also uh, there's an algorithm on uh, the Lemonade app that uh, is in the benefit of the user. So if I'm more interested as a user in, let's say, baby products, what uh, the content that I will be uh, seeing is more related to baby. So I will be seeing, uh, let's say, influencers promoting baby product products or more brands talking about uh, or having uh, baby items, for example. Listen, uh, Lean, out of your experience, do you think ladies or men are more shopping online these days? Uh, I guess uh, ladies. Ladies more <laughs> and, and clothing, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. That's very interesting. Listen, and uh, so you, you, you found a gap and you came up with this platform. And now when are you planning to launch it? We're launching it um, in December or Q1 of uh, 2024. 2024. Yeah. All right. And I think, uh, uh, I think I, I'm assuming now the big brands would be would want to be part of this app. 100% because also they can turn their customers into their ambassadors. Like we said earlier, yeah. Yeah, so any, yeah. any customer could be an ambassador. Yes. Listen, there's something called the currency of attention these days that we have on social. And this is what, what is making the influencers, you know, being um, uh, effective when they collaborate with a brand. So they say if this influencer has lots of followers, but effective followers, like, I mean, if they mm. say I'm using this product and they end up buying it, 
where, and like the Kardashians, for example, <laughs> they, they have this currency of attention, and this is how this rise of attention mm. came came uh, to the surface. So I believe uh, in the content creators, in terms of regular clients, would be very beneficial in on this app. But also, the influencers also might still have a, a say on your yes. app, right? Yes, because also they have uh, visibility on all what's happening and the data. So they have a dashboard where they can see the number of uh, views and the number of people that are following them on the platform and viewing their product and are engaging with their content, but also they can see how much they are converting as well. Okay. So from here, they can know the purchase power of their followers. So they will be it. So they will be more promoting, let's say, high value products or low value products, depending on the situation. Uh, okay. So brands here, at least they will get to see uh, uh, tangible results when it comes to monetization. Uh, brands and influencers and as creators well. as so well. Because also brands, they will have uh, visibility on uh, who uh, sold his uh, products. The most. Which con yes, uh, exactly. Okay. So even if there are so many influencers, if let's say uh, Lean got me, uh, let's say I'm the brand and you're the influencer, if you got me more sales, then I know you, yes. you're effective. And you, as you, can do, you can do a separate uh, campaign on the platform with this influencer, with me, for example. Mm. Okay, but I'm sure also this app, you will have to advertise it on the regular social media platform, so then they jump to your app, right? Yes, yes, also. <laughs> this fashion industry is, is evolving even, uh, even into new platforms now, like you said, and mixing together social and commerce. Uh, and they could, uh, for example, can I suggest to my friend on this app, uh, this product, let's yes. say? So, yes, yeah, we're working on this where you, ha you will have your own closet. Ah, yes. So, so they get to see what they get to see, people get to see what I bought already. For example, or you can suggest for this event, hey, you can say, hey, for this event, I'm uh, building this, let's say, closet. Uh, I recommend you to buy these items from these brands. So if they buy from your uh, uh, suggestion, you will get also a commission. Ah, so this. here you should involve also the stylist, no? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's another segment for that. So basically, the, the platform is built for brands, users, influencers, and all the ecosystem related to fashion, fashion. to the fashion industry. Wow. So, yeah. That's very interesting. Thanks for sharing the details uh, Thank you. about this app. Uh, I'm sure our marketing community uh, will be the first to know now since you, you were kind and told us about this. Any other uh, final thoughts on the fashion and uh, the social commerce? Uh, this is it for now. I guess we uh, like talked about everything. Yes. Great. Uh, thanks a lot, Lynn, for joining us today. Thank and, you so much. I uh, hope we can have another maybe uh, episode after you launch the app so sure. we can discuss uh, if it will disrupt the uh, social e-commerce e or commerce yeah. when it comes to fashion industry. Thanks for joining and see you in the next one. Thank you.